The embattled chief executive officer of gold trading firm Men's Gold uh, Ghana Limited, Nana Apia Mensa, popularly known as Nam One, is expected to arrive in Accra any moment from now. And uh, you would recall that he's been in Dubai for several months. The young Ghanaian businessman uh, had been in the custody of Dubai authorities since December last year. He was arrested during his stay in the Emirati nation to collect some hefty amount of money owed uh, his company by a businessman there in Dubai. Namwan is also being sought after by both his thousands of aggrieved clients um, uh, who have their monies locked up with the company since August last year and uh, as well as government of Ghana who is also looking for him to at least help a reason why he seemed to have collected X man, uh, amounts of money from uh, clients. So there are two ch accounts against him. Uh, those cases have been brought against him and uh, his arrival as a businessman and CEO of Men's Gold uh, is one of the things that a lot of people have been looking forward to. So let's head to the Kotoka International Airport shortly and then I will speak to our man Selam Amenya who has been covering the arrival of Nam One and um, when we do get him we'll pick his thoughts. So on your screens uh, were shots of, um, you know, his arrival. We'll, we'll be trying to find out the latest, where he is currently, if he's, when he touched down, and then also uh, what has been ongoing since he arrived. We are told that he's currently uh, at the police headquarters here in Accra. And so we, we, our man is on the ground there following him, and we'll pick his thoughts on what has happened since his arrival at the Kotoka International Airport from Dubai. Salam, I mean, good afternoon, and thank you for your time. Good afternoon, Martin. We are told that Nam One, as he's popularly called, is currently at the police headquarters. Can you confirm that? And what was it like when he arrived at the airport right through to the police headquarters? Well, um, the flight that he came in, which is the Emirates, landed around 10.45 a.m. And uh, when they landed and they started this embarkment, uh, he was bundled and put in vehicles. Initially, they had wanted to use a VIP lounge, but we had a change of mind. And uh, there were four vehicles, some Nizan patrols, and then a Navara pickup. They never had their sirens on, neither did they have their, <coughs> their emergency lights on either. So they, they used a, 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 a gate that is around the cabin uh, section of the airport. If you know, they were they directly opposite the Aviation Social Center. That was where they came out to drive through the street back and then back into the CID headquarters. He's been sent to the Financial Forensic Unit of the Ghana Police Service. And uh, his lawyer, that is Kwame Kufu, also just came in. Some of the, the people he used to work with are also here. And uh, the man who broke the news on social media, Kwame April himself, is here. So uh, you found a few people gathered talking. But uh, I think some other people have been stopped from coming into the CID headquarters. So currently, that is what is happening here, man. Right. You said he was bundled um, from the airport. Can you clarify? Was it like they heckled him, handcuffed him, and threw him in a car, or it was more like a gentle coercion into the it, car? It, 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 it was gentle because they use a, a tunnel. You cannot tell whether he was uh, brought in by Interpol or he came himself. Hmm. But uh, when he came out of the tunnel, they tried covering his face. And then they put him in the uh, the, the vehicle that I, I spoke about. So so it meant that the police were waiting for him to arrive, and then when he arrived, they just walked him into the car? Yes. Don't forget, the police have a warrant uh, of arrest. Of arrest. Uh, waiting. Right. Did you see any group of persons, probably support, uh, um, customers of Men's Gold, at the airport or at the police headquarters? No. No, no Martin. There are no, no such no crowds? Yes. Right. No. And um, has his lawyer said anything or has he himself said anything yet? No, no. He was sent straight to the FSU unit. That is the uh, financial and forensic unit. He was sent straight to that place. And uh, his lawyer came in a while ago. That is Kwame Ekufu. Right. So they've not spoken to the media at all. Okay.
Salam, thank you very much uh, for this quick update. Salam Amanya is our man who has been following uh, this story. So it is that um, Nam One or Nana Apia Mensa, the CEO of Men's Gold, um, has arrived in the country from Dubai after st spending a few months there. He was sent straight to the police headquarters, the CID uh, office of the police headquarters, and um, certainly his lawyer has just been has also arrived as confirmed by our reporter. We'll see what happens out of you know, his arrival and subsequent interrogations.